Hey guys, it's Heather, and today is Tuesday morning, April 7th, and I thought I'd go ahead and start a vlog. I did not get a chance to vlog yesterday, but I'll tell you one in a sec. So yesterday I spent um, the first portion of the day, the first probably two or three hours, scrubbing the pool furniture around the pool and getting them all cleaned up and cleaning the pool decking. I did not pressure wash that this year. So you're not supposed to do it every year, but I did get it nice and clean and ready and um, Indigo and Jackson ended up in the pool yesterday. I did get a little bit of color. Some of this is actually self tanner and the rest of it, like my back is, almost brown now so that happened pretty quick but that's i decided to wear a bikini top because i was in my backyard and got some stuff done that way i wouldn't have like massive tan lines so this morning i am about to make adam and i some smoothies and our favorite is this this is the um chocolate and blueberry this is by daily harvest it's his favorite by far I like that one, and my other favorite is the mint and cocoa. But I'm gonna do the chocolate and blueberry with him. Um, I will not record while I'm blending it up because that's very noisy. Let me see if I can put you down here. This is that little top that I got from um, Front Door Fashion a while back. It's a little overcast. It's supposed to be nice today and then rain this afternoon. So we will, we'll see. Let me grab what I need. everything over here we mix these it says it recommends almond milk so I do this but I did mine half and half Ooh, almost dropped it with coconut water and we put them in the little ninja cups that I blended on the ninja so I use the smaller one he uses the larger one that way I know his is the only one with all almond milk I, I don't know why I just like to mix the two he can tell the difference. So these are filled with blueberry, banana, cacao, spinach, kale, coconut, almond, and maca. So, and that's what it looks like on the inside. It's blueberries and it's a very, but it's got some, some cocoa in it. So it actually tastes like a chocolate milkshake. It's really good. Where's my little tab? There we go. I did spend yesterday evening repainting my nails. I forgot how often you have to do it and how long they take to dry. And then I had to tinkle and I was like, okay, what do I do? Okay, I can't get this one open. It doesn't want to open. Come on. I have to cut it. Gonna have to cut it. But I did, um, Emily was had got these color street nails and so I you know signed up and they send you a free sample and they had these really glittery ones can you see that so I'm not sure I like the color that I painted my fingernails but I do like the little color street I really want to get some leopard ones so but I couldn't dig into my purse for my credit card information yesterday so I'm gonna have to wait on that um, and it's not a, a super I like I like the sparkle it's fun. And they sent me a, like a coral colored one too. So on mine, I do about half coconut water. And then they want you to fill it over the top with almond milk. So that one's mine. And this one's Adam's. And I, I like to drink this somewhere around 10 o'clock. It makes us not so hungry for lunch um, too early. So you can spread out the meals throughout the day. So there's Adam's, and the short one's mine. Now I am going to add, I'm gonna go grab something out of the pantry. That pantry door needs to be greased, it's squeaky. This is a little extra fiber, it's flax, chia, and coconut. And I think the serving size is one and a half tablespoons for 60 calories. I just sprinkle a little across the top. I'm not measuring it. And then I just add a little extra water to the top of that. And then 
grab my little blender thing. And I'm gonna pause you while I do this because it's really noisy. I'll just take you over here though. This is the ninja that we use when we do the fresh, the, uh, the uh, daily harvest. And then this one is when I make my own and it's a big, a big blender. Okay, it's gonna be loud. I'll check back in. Okay, so here's Adam's, and I just pulled mine off the blender, and it's gonna be so nummy. Pop a little straw in there. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet. This is, first time I saw it, I thought, why would I use that? This is the Dawn Platinum Power Wash Spray. It's the dish spray. I love it. Um, it. You spray it on, you don't have to have any water, and I am gonna rinse off the chocolate that's on this little thing here. The smoothie that's on here. And then while we're drinking our smoothies, I just spray. This way I can get up underneath the little things. And anything, any remnants will just sit there and soak off. Any plates that have a lot of stuff on it, I just I just really like it and it smells really good. Okay, I'm gonna take this up to Adam and then I'm gonna open a box that, I got, that I've had for about a week now. I've been letting my boxes kind of sit, but it's for the doggies. Okay, I received a, an email from a company called Pet Lab and they were wondering if I was interested in receiving the products for my dogs and to see how and see if they like them and whatnot and of course if it's related to my dogs the answer is almost always yes as long as it's something healthy um something i think that they would enjoy so let me move my let me take a little sip here so this is my little box it has a little puppy on it here i did get this box it's been sitting in for about a week so i think it's fine um, I did purchase, I did get, I did pick two items. So they have lots of different items and I will leave a link. I don't have, I don't think I have a coupon code or anything like that, but I will leave a link to their website. All right. What's mama got? These are the beef liver bites, healthy, low fat snack, 100% beef liver, high protein. They're distributed in New York. And it is called petlab.co. To be fed as a treat or a reward. So there is 64% minimum crude protein, 5% crude fat, 1% crude fiber, and 8% crude moisture. And there's six calories apparently. It says made with 100% beef liver, our high, high protein bites are the irresistible treat your dog deserves. Each bite is freeze dried to lock in the essential vitamins and minerals and ensure the best taste for your pet. A great source of protein, our bites are low in carbohydrates and contain no synthetic or harmful additives. So I got that. And then, let's move my box over here. This is the Fur Ball Remedy. Let me grab some glasses. I know, you're excited, you're excited. Okay, all natural chicken flavor to reduce for, what? This one says for cats. For cats. I, I think that might've been a mistake. I will contact them and let them know. I don't have any cats, but I do have a friend that has a cat. So let's open up the beef liver. Ooh, Indigo, come here. What's mama got, you want a treat? They're both sitting right here. Undigo's coming. Let me see if I can. What's mama got? Do we smell? Do we smell? Does it smell good? Oh, he does? <laughs> Do you want what's in there? Let's see. Let's see. Little freeze dried trees. Let's let's see if they pass the taste test. Oh, okay. Indigo took them both. <laughs> Here's tea for you, Jack. Oh my goodness. Are those good? stuff see mine like to take them Jax is not doing it right now but she's going to sit over here on the rug and this is why this rug is constantly needing to be cleaned do you eat them both was that good stuff I think those were a success 
Were those a success? Did you like those num nums? <laughs> this is their little toy basket here. So it's behind the recliner. They keep, they have a toy basket upstairs as well. And they keep going upstairs and bringing those toys down. So this toy basket is way full. It needs to be redistributed. And some of those toys probably need to be cleaned. Right? 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 So the plan earlier today um, was Emily was going to come over. And I think she's still coming over. She's bringing the dogs. We were going to let them swim because Indigo and Jax have already been in the pool. Let me put you back down here. Um, and then she put the flea medication on her dogs. So they won't be able to go in the pool. She had to be 24 hours out from that. You guys want one more? When the moss? They're sitting here. You see them? See, Mama, can we have one more? Can we have one more? Oh my goodness, is that good stuff? Yeah, I would say that they are a winner. I actually keep, I keep treats everywhere. They're in my desk drawer upstairs. So when they come in and I just feel like they need one, I give them one. They always get a night-night treat before bed and they're in my nightstand. And then they're all over the house. Sorry, I've got to wash the dog slobber off my hands before I touch my smoothie. Oh, I wanted to mention also, we're all washing our hands a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. More often than we used to, I believe. And I've always washed my hands a lot, so I've always had very dry skin. Well, I picked this stuff up off of Amazon. It's called Gloves in a Bottle. It is a shielding lotion. Now, it's not a glove. It's not gonna keep you safe. But you put that on your hands, you let us say it doesn't leave it greasy, you can still snap your fingers and everything. But it lasts through washes. So you go thoroughly wash your hands and there's a shield still on your hands and it just makes your hands feel better. So if you're dealing with dry cracked hands right now from all the hand washing, um, I would suggest I got off Amazon and it was maybe like 12 bucks, I think. So but anyway, I was talking about Emily. She's gonna she's doing some work around her house this morning. And then she's gonna bring Cade. Watch. You wanna see Cade in Georgia? <laughs> Do you wanna see Cade in Georgia? Do you wanna see Cade in Georgia? You do? Yeah, you do. And we'll give them some outdoor run time until it starts to rain. We're the only area that got any rain yesterday. And of course, just enough to make the pollen look terrible on everything. I know, not quite yet, little man, not quite yet. So I'm gonna drink my smoothie. And I honestly, I honestly don't know what else I'm going to do today besides Emily coming over for a little while. I've seen several, you know, I've, I've watched, I've honestly, only about two or three YouTube videos in this past week. I haven't had much of a chance. Um, since I've been, hey, I know you're excited. Like, not right now, just wait a second. Um, I had a day, you know, I had a day the other day where the enormity of this kind of hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, I have found that it's best not to have the news on all the time. You know, I check in, obviously, so we know exactly, you know, where we stand and, Hey, y'all are being loud. Y'all are being loud. Um, but it was just that, that something triggered me that day where I was just a little more emotional, a little more overwhelmed, I guess, by what's happening right now. And, um, and I think it's important that we all recognize that it's okay to have feelings about this, to, to not feel sure, to not to have some anxiety. And, um, you know, I kept telling myself, Heather, the entire world is going through this right now. You're no different. You're no different. You just do your part. And after a little bit of, you know, almost a panic attack, a little bit of crying, a little bit of deep breathing. And then I slapped myself back in the gear and said, you know what? It's not okay right now, Heather. You're, you know, you're a mom. You're, I, I will tell you, one of the things that's really helped me, obviously, other than my husband, 
my dogs are completely unfazed by all of this. They, there is no anxiety to them that it's just a normal day for them. You know, maybe getting a couple extra times to go outside. I'm trying to say, be careful with the words I say because my dogs have trigger words and P-L-A-Y is one of them. I think they're learning to spell that too. But, um, you know, it's just so refreshing to sit on the floor and just let them kiss me and tackle me and, you know, just enjoy the fact that they are unfazed by what's going on. And I, and I need that. I need, I need the parts of this that are normal, the parts of this that are not anxious, you know, and I know we're going to make it through this. I know that, you know, we've still got some time, you know, to, to get things done around the house, um, or to spend with your family or, you know, I, I guess just seeing the doctors and the nurses and the first responders that are doing all of this on the news and the stress that they're under right now and our hospitals that are being bogged down and the fear of even doing our normal essential things like going to the grocery store. When, hey, I don't think she's here yet. But, you know, when we were starting to get, I think this was actually the day that we had to go because we were out of bread and out of something, and I think we had to get bread and milk and something else. And just the, you know, the preparing to go in, not sure, A, if you're going to be able to find what you're looking for, and these are basic necessities, and the fear of what if this trip is the one? What if this trip I touched the wrong thing or I accidentally touched my face or whatever? I think it was that day, and I don't know, I had my moment. I got over my moment and realized that I'm very lucky I'm, I am lucky that I have the ability to be at home um, that that I need to do my part and not be in somebody else's way so anyway I just wanted to share that I had my moment as well you know and I, and I think that every one of us have had that moment where just it's such uncharted territory we have we've never done anything like this before and we're not sure when it's over and, you know, I go to bed at night, I wake up the next morning, and I realize that it wasn't some crazy dream, that this is real, that this is, this is real. So, anyway, that's it. Not going to talk about it anymore. I just had my moment, and I wanted to share my moment. So, I'm going to drink my smoothie before it becomes soup, and um, I do have to work out today. I, I worked out really hard yesterday, and I didn't even get my personal record. I was three kilojoules shy of being a personal record. <laughs> By the time I was done with it, I was like, clearly that's going to be a PR, and it wasn't. So, And we'd done some walking around the neighborhood, taking the dogs for a walk. and <laughs> So we, you know, we carried the little... Um, we carried the little doggy wipes on the leashes and as we were walking there was only one left and we didn't realize it and of course both dogs indigo pooped first so adam swooped down picked it up and everything and then he's walking around and he, he's like all right i'm gonna tie this in a knot because we're almost back to the house and then jack's pooped so he was on, on the other end trying he got it on his hands <laughs> But it was funny. We, we, you know, we play outside a lot, but that was the first time since all of this that we've actually walked the neighborhood. And we see people walking by our house. We have a neighbor that has a giant Great Dane. Oh my God, she's beautiful. She's so big. I mean, you could sit on this dog, right? All right, let me drink my smoothie and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. So I was taking the dogs outside to play and guess who showed up? Hi! There's Georgia. And there's those three. I wish I'd had my camera rolling when she pulled up. I mean, Indigo about to attack the Jeep. Or get the... it, Jax! Get it, Jax! Get it, Jax! All right, give me those balls! Come on, Georgia! Oh, who's going to play? Georgia, you want to play? You want to play? You want to play? Indigo, drop it. Indigo, ready? Drop Indigo, it? drop it. She's got one in her mouth. I know. Uh, most of the time when I say... Look at them running and having Ready? fun. In they go. In they go. Oh, there goes Jax. Woo! 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 Oh, that was smooth. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, Georgia. she got poop. <laughs> we have a pooper scooper right over there on the side of the house. That's in the runway. Georgia, that was in the runway. Watch out, Indigo. Don't step in it. <laughs> so when you gotta go, you gotta go, right? Right? Oh, this is a little bitty thing. Okay, so I figured since Emily was here with uh, Kate and Georgia that I'd have them try 
the pet lab company. Oh 100% beef liver. This is free start. Look at her. <laughs> you want some loves? Are you getting some loves, Georgia? Georgia, what's grandma got? Treats. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to see if they like them? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh, I was hoping to get that on my camera, too. What oh, is it? So you want treats, Kate? I got treats. Let's see. Do you see how filthy he is? Oh, Kate's gonna take it over. I've ordered two new water fountains. Kate, you're stepping on the wrong spot. Show him how to do it, Jax. Get some water, Kate. Oh my, there we go. There we go. They run like crazy, they get out of breath, and then they come. You see how dirty he is? My goodness, where's your sister? Indigo. Oh, she's hoarding the balls. She's hoarding the balls. Bring it up here. Let's go get a treat. Ooh, have they tried them yet? No. Okay. I am going to actually film this as well. So I'm going to set them down. I have four in my hand. And they're they're completely safe for Kate. Yeah. 100% beef liver. Freeze dried beef liver. Who wants a treat? Ooh. Georgia sat first. Good girl. <laughs> Who wants a treat? Do you I think like they're passing those? the taste test with everybody. Oh, even Jax. And in the game. Everybody oh, Jack, likes nope, the freeze dried beef lover. Jax, spit it out. Huh. He's probably he out of breath. Picky. No, he was eating them like crazy earlier. Oh. So I heard a burp. <laughs> Excuse you, Cage. I heard a burp. <laughs> All righty. Okay, so I'm now home. I did run with Emily real quick. There is a local um, at home, uh, Egger, uh, Egger, what? This guy's got chickens and he sells the eggs. So I picked up this and did not have to go into any grocery store. And these are farm fresh eggs. I just have to rinse them. Once you rinse them, they have to go in the fridge. If you don't rinse them, they can actually sit out on the countertop for like two weeks or something. I'm more of a refrigerate my eggs kind of girl, so I'm going to be rinsing them and storing them in the fridge. So it's actually kind of nice to be able to source locally, help a you know small business, a small company out. And his wife, the guy who does this, who has the chickens, his wife just got laid off from her job. So temporarily until all this blows over. But um, played with her dogs for a little while, came back here, played with my dogs for a while. And now I'm just going to chill out a little bit. So I will probably check in with you guys sometime tomorrow. Okay guys, today is Wednesday. I am in the truck with Adam, say hi. Hey guys. We are just taking a drive. We have no specific place to go, obviously, none of us do, but we had to get out of the house for a little while. Um, we might actually see if we can find a takeout place because um, we've been eating roughly the same things every night for three months. Um, so just to change something different, just to get us out of the house for a minute and uh, not going in public, we will find something that's open, do a call ahead, and then we'll go and grab it and go. So I um, just wanted to check in with you guys. I did do some filming today, so I do have some videos coming up. Well, for you guys, this video comes out next week, but other videos will be coming out between now and then. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later. So I am sitting in the truck. My husband, we called ahead. Uh, we were both feeling Chinese. We haven't had Chinese in forever. So we went ahead and placed our order ahead of time. He's running to pick it up right now. I'm staying here. He's armed with everything he needs to be safe. The Kroger parking lot is slap full of people. Um, I don't know if it's like this everywhere, but I know that a lot of grocery stores, um, any place that you can buy any type of supply food wise cleaning supplies whatever even hardware stores are lines outside and those lines uh, this one I don't I do see a line I think I see a line you have to stay six feet apart to get into the store and people are getting in there and there's nothing even to buy you know I mean actually Emily had to go yesterday to grab milk and she said they had just restocked milk um, but they still had no paper products cleaning supplies or anything like that so oh man it's this is we we have not left the house much i decided to take the ride with adam to grab something today 
just to get out of the house. And there's, believe it or not, quite a bit of traffic out here. Um, and people, I mean, I mean, considering the situation, you know, there, there's a lot of cars in this parking lot and we were like three cars deep at the red light, which normally we're probably 20 cars deep at the red light, but it's still, we've been staying home. So that it just seems a little bit odd to me, but what are y'all doing to keep busy? Are you, is your, all your projects done in your house? Is everything clean? I mean, I could use a mopping now because it rained last night and my dogs tracked in footprints and I may do that tomorrow. <laughs> Things to look forward to, right? But we are supposed to have rain, um, every day for like the next four days, I think, but not a full, I mean, like right now it's not pouring down rain. It's just, it's overcast right now. We get a little rain and then it dries up and then we get a little rain. I was able to get Jackson in to go outside and play with the ball for a while. And they love that. That's their favorite thing to do. I did chip a nail. I just did these nails. I didn't need a nail file. And of course I don't have a nail file with me. These are sharp. I forgot natural nails hurt. So normally when I would have my SNS, if I was in, had an itch somewhere, I would scratch and I could do kind of hard. Well, it's taking some getting used to. Now when I go to scratch, I actually scratch myself and I'm, I'm like, oh my God, did I draw blood? So these are going to take some getting used to. I'm not sure I like the color. I, I like the color street glitter and I only have two of those. But since I have the time, I think I may do a mani-pedi tomorrow. I'm feeling blue, like a baby blue. So I made just for the sake of it and I'll, I'll just I'll probably keep my little ring fingers since those are those little color street stick on things. I may keep those pink and then just do everything else. The baby, I don't know. We'll see how I feel about it tomorrow. But, oh, he's standing in there. I guess it's not ready. He's standing at the, at the door. Oh, me oh my, our governor, um, we are... He just announced um, this has been extended to April 30th with a state of emergency until May 13th. So I think I'll be out of toilet paper by then. <laughs> oh, I was just telling the dogs follow me to the bathroom every time I go to the bathroom. And I take when I told I was explaining to them, you get two squares per tinkle. <laughs> and if we run out of toilet paper, I'm going to be joining them in the yard, right? All right. Well, I, I will check in with you guys a little later. Good Friday morning. Um, I have already filmed the rest of my trunk club video that'll go up the day before this video goes up. And I do have to run out here in just a few minutes for dog food. I was hoping to not have to, but I have to go to Costco because that's where we get our dog food. It's the only dog food my dogs like and don't have a reaction to. Um, just we had loose bowels for like the first year of their lives so when we finally hit the costco the kirkland brand is when the poops were solid <laughs> the way they were supposed to be so i've actually changed i kept this little top and these little leggings from my trunk club box i did add just a white tank top underneath it um, i think we're supposed to be in the 60s today so it's not going to be too hot not gonna be too cold and it's gonna be a little cool for me, but inside my house, this is just fine. I'm about to make Adam and I some smoothies. His work has been non-stop. I mean, even last night, you know, when you know, work is over, cause he works, he's, he's always worked from home. So that's a blessing, but um, it's just been over the top and he's getting phone calls late, you know, early and he's not really getting any downtime right now. and. I guess that's true for a lot of people, a lot of people. Um, anyway, um, before I make the smoothies, although it is time for smoothies, I wanna show you real quick. I did do a Sephora order um, and I was waiting for both boxes to get here. Let me just pull it all over here and I'll show you what I got. All right, let me just put you down here and I'll show you each item. Um, I did get a backup of my favorite dry shampoo. The bottle I have right now has about half, and this is a fresh one. Um, <laughs> so the, the Bum Bum Cream. I have not even opened this box yet, but the Bum Bum Cream by Solja Gennaro, I think is what it's called. They came out with a perfume. I love the way that smells, and I'm hoping this smells just like it. Here's the label. Um, this is the scent of summer. Now, I do have... Let me take you in there real quick since this is a vlog. This is not an open unboxing or anything. 
Um, I do have two, I have a lot of perfumes. I like to change up my scents. Um, but I have two that I'm loving right now since it's getting nicer out. The first one, I have it right here on my, this is my mother's jewelry box. I'm going to pull you down here. This is my mother's jewelry box and this was her old, um, this was a crystal perfume container and this is a little turtle ornament that she bought me. We got her earrings up here. The matching ones that I have in my ears. But this is the, this is one I love to wear during the summertime. Um, Estee Lauder's Bronze Goddess. Um, and these are some other perfumes that I have. I don't really like the smell of this Marc Jacobs Decadence, but I think the bottle's really pretty. So these are the ones I have up here, but this is a good one for summer. And the one I'm actually wearing today is this is one, this one. And now this is pretty new as well. This is the Tiffany. Um, I think this one is the Intense but it smells so fresh and clean. So I won't be trying that Sol de Janeiro one on today because I'm wearing this one and I just think that bottle is gorgeous. This is another favorite, my Trish McAvoy Blackberry Vanilla. I gotta sneeze, hold on a second. All right, I am in the car, I'm in the Jeep and I'm headed to Costco and I'm nervous. I don't like this. I actually went on to Costco.com to see if I could order it for pickup. And it's actually showing my dog's food and all the dog food out of stock. So that's not helping my nerves right now. And going in public, I mean, I do have, I have my gloves. So I will have that. I almost want to tie one around my face. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to see if I can get some more milk. Sorry. And um, I'm supposed to be getting my granddaughter again next week. So I need to get some cereal and some snacky things for her. So I, it's so bizarre to go grocery shopping. Normally you make yourself a list and you go get your stuff from the grocery store. Now it's, you have an idea of what you need and you, can, you go and see what you can find and what we'll be able to make do for what you're looking for. So wish me luck, fingers crossed. I am gonna to touch very little and I'm gonna do it with gloves on and I'm going to stay as far away from people as possible. I am terrified that they're not going to have any dog food um, because that's the only food that I know that works well with my dogs that they both eat and both don't have any digestive issues with. I have about three days left of dog food and I wasn't expecting it to be a problem. Um, and they, 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 they use the Kirkland Signature lamb formula and I do mine with grains because I my dogs don't have a problem with grains. But then I add the fresh pet as a topper and they love that. So I swear I'm headed first to see what they've got and if they've got everything they need, then I'm just going home. Alrighty, I am headed home. It's windy as I'll get out, so please excuse the wind blown hair. Um, I got everything I needed. They didn't have any hand sanitizer, any you know, disinfecting wipes or Lysol spray but they did have toilet paper and paper towels and they did have my dog food. So I am much more relieved. I did have to stand in line. It didn't take very long. Um, and it's very bizarre. You know, I mean, you, you guys have all experienced this, I'm sure. Just, it's a little unnerving walking through and it's, it's just a very odd experience. So I'm glad it's over with. I got everything I would need for probably the next several weeks. Um, and now I'm headed home. I did wear gloves. They're sanitizing the carts. They're sanitizing the handles in the freezer section. I mean, people walking around with masks and sprays and wiping down everything. And I totally appreciate that. And the register, they handle everything for you. All you have to do is swipe your card. They have a place for you to put your gloves when you leave. And it just, it was a better experience than I was expecting it to be. So um, I've got everything I need for now and we have some varieties of some I had some lunch meats and stuff I was able to get some grain bread because that's what I if I eat bread that's what I try to eat and some lunch meat and stuff like that but I'm feeling successful and now I'm gonna head home so I will probably check in with you guys a little later today um, I don't plan on going anywhere else today so if I have something else to say I will otherwise it'll be sometime tomorrow Good Saturday afternoon. It's actually four o'clock in the afternoon. I have not done any vlogging today. I've not done anything filming wise. I figured I'd grab the camera now. Um, I did shampoo my bedroom floor again. And I think that with the color carpet I have and having two dogs, that it's gonna have to be done 
I think with the seasons, I think that's what we're gonna have to do. So it's good, it's drying, and today's a beautiful day. It's absolutely gorgeous. I wanna say it's probably about 65 degrees, sun shining, all that's supposed to come crashing to a halt tomorrow. Um, happy early Easter or Passover if you're celebrating Passover or whatever it is you celebrate. Um, we are supposed to have wicked storms, wicked, wicked storms starting tomorrow late afternoon. So my husband came out and he mowed the grass and it looks really pretty. It was a pollen storm. I'm thinking next week I'm actually going to, let me see if I can zoom you in, down, oh, there we go, down there, it's about as close as I can go, that is my tomato garden that I've not done anything with this year. I need to get down there and clean it out and figure out exactly what I'm gonna do, um, the configuration, how I want to plant. Um, I had some, last summer I had peppers, um, jalapeno peppers and tomatoes. So I'm gonna reverse how they were planted. Cause you never wanna use the same soil for the same item two seasons in a row. Waiting for my blueberries to get pretty. Those, you know, I've still got quite a bit of time. I have little tiny little buds and, and berries on there right now, but it's gonna be a while before they're edible. My granddaughter loves to go over there and eat them right off the bush. And everything we do, we don't use any pesticides. Everything is done organically. So that if I want to juice something, uh, we have juiced cucumbers from my garden. Um, well, have we, I haven't done carrots or anything. I've done celery. The first year I got so much celery is unreal. I have the cutest picture of Sophia carrying this great big bush of celery up, this, up the hill. It was so cute. I can't show you, darn. I have no makeup on. I don't plan on putting any makeup on. I have washed my hair. I did use that new scalp scrub from um, Drunk Elephant. And apparently you use it before you get in the shower. It's just about, to, I turned on the water, I was about to get in the shower and I had to put my glasses on to read the directions and it's microscopic. But it says to put it on your scalp and massage in and leave it in for 10 minutes before. You put it on dry hair. So I turned off the shower and I did that. My hair feels really, really clean. Um, I, all I did was blow it dry. So not gonna do any makeup today. We're sitting here watching Ozark. Uh, we just started the series. I think we're on episode four, I think. So it's got three seasons, so that should keep us busy for a little while. I love Jason Bateman. I think it's fun. It's a it's a thinker for me. It's something I have to really pay attention to. Uh, the other day, oh, here's my nails. This is what I did. My toes look the same. Um, the other day we watched, okay, so it won a whole bunch of awards, but it's called Pandemic. And well, I say we watched it. We had to read it because it's in Korean and you know, you have to read the subtitles all the way through. I actually thought it was pretty good. I, was it something I thought should win that many awards? No, but I still thought it was good and it killed a couple hours of our evening. <laughs> um, so like I said, tomorrow is supposed to rain. I have no idea what we're gonna, probably gonna be in movies tomorrow, what I would assume. We've done a lot of PLAY with the dogs. They're both sitting here looking at me. I did order this new rug. This is the same style rug that was here last year, but a lot bigger. The other one was like the little mat that went in front of the front the, in front of the door to wipe your feet on. This one is a four by six. That way, when the dogs come up and they're waiting on me, this truck stuck gets really, really hot. And now they have a place to get out of the heat. And I took the old rug that was not in great shape and I put it under their little water fountain that's underneath the deck. So they have a place to stand down there and not scald their feet. We did have to order two new water fountains for the dogs. Um, so there's one out in the garage by the garage door and one down by the pool. So when they want water and it's hot outside, the other ones were starting to stick a little bit and they were, I'd have to catch them and turn them off. And you don't want to run up your water bill with that, but we should have brought them in for the winter and we didn't. So it's my fault. I should have brought them in, but they work so well. And I, my dogs are so thirsty all the time. And when, after we've gone and played for a while, Jax is so messy, so slobbery, and so thirsty. He comes into the kitchen and literally lays in his water bowl. So his chest hair is just covered in water. <laughs> Letting him spend five or 10 minutes out here, chilling out a little bit after a really, really hard play. Oh, I said the word. <laughs> they both looked at me. And fill up with that nice fresh water coming from their little water fountain. It's less messy in the house. So... Anyway, that's what we've done. Some cleaning, some carpet shampooing, and got the yard ready for the nice big rain that we're about to have. So, um, all right, guys, I think that's gonna be it. Um, oh, bad, bad, bad lighting, sorry. Here's me with the makeup on. This morning, our videos went up mine, the collaboration that I did with um, four other wonderful YouTube friends of mine. 
we did the the um, shop your closet formal wear edition. Oh my God, it was so much fun to film and then it was even more fun to watch theirs. I had a blast seeing some of the vintage pieces, the pieces that you, they, they were given, you know, passed down from loved ones, uh, the sexy wear that people have been able to wear 20 years later, you know, I mean, I was just, I was blown away by it. I had an absolute blast doing it. Everybody looked fabulous in their dresses and I hope you guys had as much fun as I did because I had a blast. All right, I'll check in with you guys a little later. Hey guys, so I just realized that I did not film an ending to this vlog yesterday. I did not pick the camera up. It was Easter Sunday and we just spent the day around the house. We watched some older movies and just relaxed. Uh, we didn't even really do any major cooking, um, but I hope that you had a nice Easter and that you got to at least speak to the people that you love. And I hope that you guys are safe and healthy and happy and I will see you in my next video. Bye.